I'm in uh, Chance au Pré Loche, uh, one of the best known little picturesque villages in Touraine. This is a, an avenue of magnificent plane trees at the end of which there's a little 12th century chapel. Um, over here, I'll show you in a minute, there's a chateau. Here, La Croix des Gardes, it's a, it's a restaurant. So this restaurant has been under several managements and it's closed. Um, they've stripped out all of the restaurant fittings, so goodness knows what's going to happen to it now. There used to be a magnificent catalpa tree in the garden, which had to be felled because it was sick, I think, but it was like a natural umbrella of leaves, the most beautiful thing. And I can remember some very nice evenings there. Once, for example, when the French singer Hervé Villard entertained us on his guitar. It's all, all gone now, nothing's happening there at all. Over here, um, a 19th century chateau of Chanceau Preloche, also up for sale since the Chatelain died. Um, it's a late 19th century chateau. In 1960, there was a murder there. A lot of hunting goes on around here. There are big, there are pr proper hunts with horses and hounds. It also shoots. And in uh, 1960, there was a shoot when a Monsieur Michelin um, came back to the chateau bearing the body of his wife. He said he'd fallen to the ground and the gun had gone off and killed her. Uh, there was um, an in a police inquiry and they worked out that in fact the gun had been fired horizontally and not from a low angle and that therefore um, Monsieur Michelin was guilty of murder. Now Chanceau Preloche is best known for its annual book fair called um, La Forêt des Livres which uh, was created 22 years ago by Gonzague Saint-Bris, who owned this little chalet behind me, once a hunting chalet, now La Maison des Écrivains. But just before the 2017 book fair, um, Gonzague Saint-Bris was killed in a car accident in Normandy. And uh, now a big question mark hung, hangs over the, over the book fair. They say it will continue, but it'll be renamed something like Les Amis de Gonzague. Anyway, uh, it's a curious situation here. The chateau's for sale, the restaurant's empty and finished, the chalet where Gonzague lived, but he also lived in Paris, uh, is now all shuttered up since his death, and a sort of torpor and uh, melancholia hangs over this place. Incidentally, the other thing that Chanceau boasts, just behind the the forest over there is an enormous municipal dump, landfill site. It takes 150,000 tonnes of crap every year. And though you can't see it from here, when the wind's in the right direction, or the wrong direction, you can certainly smell it. This amazing fairy tale hangar is an outbuilding of the chateau. Somebody put a lot of work into that. I, sh I forgot to mention that the chateau was built by the Schneider family, one of the big uh, iron and steel foundry families of France.